My daughter, write these words down. Children, as you continue to follow man's ways, you are drifting further away from me. You need to think on these things. Do not let newers of life pull on your flesh. This is not the time to go back into the nests of the world, but should be a time of getting closer to me and putting aside all other. You children must remain sober and vigilant, for the enemy is always on the prowl, looking for whom he may devour. Trust me, children, do not let your guard down. He comes upon you suddenly, yet uses charm and certainty to bring great gifts to you. At the times he will attack hard and fierce, but this is done more often than not to those who war against him those who stand up and fight. The atmosphere has changed. There are many now experiencing the judgments in their towns and cities as I allow it. Are you my seasonal followers who live in these areas? Are you out there offering assistance, speaking to them of the importance of repentance? Souls have been spared, for I hear the prayers of my children, and I have been extending mercy. Does anyone see this, or have you turned a blind eye to it? I have extended my hand to so many, yet they walk away. My arm is not too short to save, and I desire the salvation of souls, and that you desire to be used by me. There are many in need of my word, my truth. Extend it to them. Show them the way to me in their broken state. Houses, material possessions are going. Weather will continue to get worse. Food will become very scarce. With floods come diseases. Many will lose everything, including their life soul. There is a war raging in your nation. They have much more up their sleeve to take all down. You have been blinded by the soothsayers, saying all is well or will be well again. You have given your devotion and ear to your King Cyrus. Yet he is not a king looking out for his people. He is a king that serves the elitists and globalists. Children, have you not yet awakened to all the lies and deception? You are fed with false hope. Your interests mean nothing to them. They feed you with just enough jargon of twisted information to make themselves look like they are golden in your eyes and to keep you into believing they are for you. Children, wake up. War is coming. War on the streets. Economic collapse. Devastations. Martial law. Incarceration in intermittent camps. And more. All these have been planned long before some of you were even born. War makes them richer while all the rest become poorer and poorer. I am most the one that raised America up from infancy, and she has betrayed me, spit all my good graces towards her, and she has allowed every foul, abominable, wicked way to become her mainstay. She has robbed the innocent of life. She has murdered my little ones on altars to their monarch. She has robbed the poor, the widow, the widower. She has robbed the children of a proper education, instilling indoctrination in its place. She has stolen from me, robbed the house of God, profaned my sanctuaries, allowed what is unholy to mix with the holy. Can oil and water mix? No. What once was considered holy is no longer. Church leaders and those who go to them and call themselves Christians do not walk in holiness. How many lukewarm children look no different than the world, partaking of the filth, are in fornication in adulteries, drinking, doing drugs, partaking in all forms of witchcraft and rebellion, dividing their bodies which was to be my holy temple. How many of you are on bended knees in fear and trembling that one day you will stand before me and be judged? Very few. 
Yet you expect the rewards of being in my holy city. You will not enter in, for your garments are stained and dirty. Let us eat, drink and be merry. This is how you live with no thought to where your eternal home will be. Let me tell you children, it will not be with me. Everlasting life will escape you, and hell will claim you. Your choices and how you live today are the deciding factors of where you will spend eternity. You choose the way of the world, no daily repentance, no turning away from sin, and so be it then. You chose whom you want to be with you forever, and it was not your heavenly Father. You cannot simply live as you wish without being forgiven, because you believe you said a few lines years ago, so all is well for you. This is a lie straight from the pulpits of the wolves in sheep's clothing, taking their flock down to hell with them. A one-time confession many years ago does not guarantee your salvation. This walk is daily repentance, is daily changing your ways, is ongoing. This is a progression. And once saved, always saved is a lie straight from the commander-in-chief of hell, Satan himself. Read the word and you would know this. Your saviour is Yahushua, and he is the way, the truth, and the life. And without him, none can come to the Father. If you walk away and live for the world, as the world, you will forfeit your salvation if you do not turn back and repent. To those who reject and refuse accepting him as King of Kings, your Messiah, then you walk away from your inheritance. I speak this to those who have never yet truly repented. Your children then have made your beds, and you will lie in them and report you have sown. Do you understand the importance of this? You decide whose side you are on. Those who choose my son come home. Those who rebel and refuse have chosen Satan to be their father for all eternity. As the minutes and hours go by, so do your lives. Make each minute each hour count. Draw close to me, stop hiding and running a million miles in the wrong direction. Confess your sins to me only. I can hear you wherever you are. Come from a place of your broken heart. Cry out, let me in. I am more than willing to forgive you, if you will just let go. I do not desire anyone to perish. Many tears have been shed over those lost forever. This world is fading away, and only I remain. Get used to it, for this nation soon will no longer be recognizable. My daughter, this is what was on my heart for you to share with all. I love you children, El Shaddai.